Hello and welcome to episode 5 of our Timberborn Update 3 Harder Mode playthrough with the Iron Teeth Faction. We're in the middle of a, uh, I don't remember how many days this drop was. 20 something days? 18 days? 19 days? It doesn't matter. Point is, uh, we're in the middle of a drought and uh, we're rapidly running out of water. We're definitely going to run out before this drought's over. So we're going to have to do some crisis management and a couple other things as well. So goal for this episode obviously is to stabilize our food production and our water production and keep expanding this whole area here because we're definitely going to need to have more water stored up as the huge 49-day droughts are literally right around the corner. Cycle 7, I believe, is the last one of the handicap. And then, uh, could get ugly, folks. So, what we're going to be doing is making sure that all of this is ready to go. We have all of these... Uh, all of these levees to build to trap water up here. And then we have this levee right here to uh, kind of close off this whole area. So what's going to end up happening is all of this land and this over here as well is going to be flooded and give us a ton of water to uh, store for pumping. We'll add some more pumping stations over here and gradually work to store as much water as physically possible because, oh boy, we need it. Speaking of, I don't think we've defined what goes in here yet, so let's just make sure we do that real quick before we unpause. And uh, we're going to do something about these small warehouses and everything, too, as well. So yeah, suffice to say, we've got our work cut out for us. And uh, could be a little rough for a little while just because of how, uh, how low we've got our supply and uh, how much water we don't currently have. So to that end, I'm going to go ahead and pause the uh, breeding pods because we currently have 33 adults and four kits. That's plenty. Uh, we'd have six who are unemployed. We're going to fix that in just a second because we have to get people over here building all of this fun stuff. So we'll go ahead and rip the Band-Aid off right now. I did download a mod that allows to adjust district parameters, and I have increased the pathing distance, as you can see here. This now reaches, well, there's a gate here, but it now reaches substantially further than it did before at the behest of some of you in the comment section and out of interest for my own sanity, but out of uh, respect for the significant difficulty decrease this affords us, I'm going to hereby ban myself from cheesing with the small warehouses as bridges. We're going to be replacing all of these. I'm not going to build any more, and we're going to do our best to not get too broken here. And yes, that means this little bridge right here of small warehouses will no longer be built with small warehouses. We're going to do it properly. Actually, I have a uh, I have tools for this. Yeah, we will uh, fix that when the time comes. And we'll take care of the rest of this as well. So, another thing we have to do, uh, I didn't increase the limits too much. I believe uh, the default for uh, pathing, I think is 75 and then 55. I changed, I just added 50% to those values, more or less. So I think what that is going to mean, oh, this guy's trapped over here. Well, not anymore. What that's going to end up meaning is I think it's still not quite enough to get us all the way over here to the other side of the map. Um, oh, that's actually further than I thought it would be. But I still want these guys to be able to actually build over here, so I'm going to move the district center again. Especially because now we have all of this accessible. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And then, kind of hard to fit all this in one, one spot here. So I think I can put it on the other side. Oh, we have so much room. So much room. Can I? I just need it to fit everything over there. Okay, that's that's kind of cheating. All right, let's um I think that is going to be perfect right there. I haven't been able to see over here yet. Okay, we are good to go. That's going to reach all the way over there. Still reaches over here as well. All right, so that is that problem all taken care of. Let's uh go ahead and rename this once again to Beaverberg six, seven, math is hard, it's seven. That's the correct answer. So what that's going to allow us to do is simultaneously work on all of these projects, 
pump out of these pumps, fill these water tanks, and then uh, all of this stuff as well, all from the same district. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Now, another thing before we unpause again is I know this is going to go away and this is going to go away before we are even close to the end of the drought. So I'm going to go ahead and build another uh, deep water pump right here. Thanks to our flipper mod, I can make that happen. I'm going to put one of those guys right there in case we have to use it. I'm going to... Uh, uh, I can't really... I guess I just super deprioritize it. All the, why does this say negative? Oh, okay, that's because I haven't... Uh, there we go. I think... Uh, I think we're good. Yep. All right, so that's taken care of. Everything is uh, back the way it's supposed to be. So we have nine unemployed beavers, which means we're going to turn back on the grill for the chestnuts. Turn back on chestnut harvesting. And then we have these two water tanks good to go. They're in the process of storing water. We have our forester is good to go. We have our water dump. We have this water dump as well. We'll be strategically uh, monitoring all of these. And then also a concern a lot of you had was this whole area right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put in another water dump because this one... No, actually, I probably could just uh, could just turn this guy on. Yeah, let's unpause this and just get a little bit of a splash going to uh, irrigate up here. Eventually, I am going to have this whole area irrigated properly. Come on, somebody come uh, come drop some water in here. They got to go really far to get water, I think. Yeah, there they go. Yeah, that's not going to do. Uh, I can not going to do too much, but it'll give us a little bit get some of the stuff planted, we will have this uh, going back and forth a little bit. Let's get this off of super speed, because it seems to be how a lot of my problems come about is uh, doing all that stuff. So we have 262 logs, we have 27 planks. Should be enough to get most of this building done up here. These guys are uh, doing their thing quite uh, slowly. So really we should be having... Uh, some sort of water or something over here, although I think it's really not going to be that much of an issue because we do have some down here and this is where they have to go to sleep anyway. So uh, 20 hours, we did have some exhausted guys, so if it keeps becoming a problem, we will lower this down to 19 and we'll see what happens from there. Man, these are so annoying, these flashing things. So I guess for right now, oh, I can't, uh, I can't pause these. They're just, uh, they're just annoying. Okay, well, that's fine. They'll be gone soon anyway. Yeah, so the reason, again, that I paused this is we already have enough beavers to be doing what we need to be doing. And we don't want to have to provide for them if they were to be born during the drought because uh, we're not going to get any more water. And it's going to be really close to even just keeping this filled up. So we're going to want to make sure that we're not... Uh, doing too much dumb stuff here. But I am going to go ahead, since we are already over here, and put in a second farmhouse. I was going to try and see if I could find a way to put one over here that could still reach across the river, but it seems to me that that's going to be probably the limit right about here. So we'll stick that guy right there, and we are going to plant some more crops. Start with some uh, carrots right here. And potatoes as well. And we also have sunflowers, although they take, uh, I think, what, five days? Yeah. They're not going to be super immediately useful. But we will uh, we'll make use of what we can when we can. That's the only way you're going to survive in this game. We also need to start planning for putting more of these levees everywhere. And this guy right here, I think the uh, water is now down enough where I can get rid of this dam. And it's not going to be a problem. This should never have been a dam. This should have been a levee because every time water comes through here, it just completely floods this whole area. So let's get up to two times speed. Yeah, again, we have enough beavers to be doing all this farming, and we really should have expanded farming a lot earlier, as many of you have pointed out. So we're going to make that a priority. Make sure that we are 
making at least some amount of progress on the food front. That's going to be a uh, very important thing for us moving forward. All right. Going to unpause this water dump because we have to keep these trees hydrated and they have to be replanted, importantly. We have a couple hundred wood here and we're not really doing any huge construction projects outside of this, but this really is just another half a dozen, or I guess it's closer to a dozen levees, and then you have this thing right here. So it's uh, really not going to be that big of a problem. The most important thing is that these maple trees don't die, and they have at least a little bit of a chance to grow during, uh, during this whole time. No storage space available for logs, huh? I know we're not that full. I guess we are that full. I don't think... Well, actually, maybe having the lumberjack here is good so we can get all of uh, all of these trees cut down. So I know they have all of this to build and we have to build across here. So I think probably would be more economical for us to just put stairs here since I'm not planning on ever really using this once it's flooded. Get those guys done. Uh, it is, however, mission critical that we have this one complete before the end of the drought. Because if we don't, all the water coming in that's being held back by this and this and this and this and this, if that gets finished, is just going to completely flood through here, flood all of this whole area. And that's just not what we want. If this is complete and all of, all of these levees are complete by the end of the drought, which is outside of, you know, keeping the beavers alive, the primary goal currently, then it'll only ever be one block tall here because we have these barriers and we have another set over here and these levees right here that will let, or dams rather, that will let the water out through here. And then this out through here will all be good to go. Be a-okay. Just go ahead and get that taken care of as well so we don't have to worry about that later. Then as soon as we need to, we can go ahead and... Oh, I guess I can put some more water out of here. Well, I do think I want to pause that for a little while, just in case. Because I don't want this to have to go dry too early, because that is a very convenient close source of water. And this lake isn't going to last forever either. I just need somebody to dump some water out of this so we don't completely kill all of our carrots and stuff over here. We'll just put a little bit more water out of here and then we will uh, we'll pause that because it seems like that's going to be just fine. Yeah, there we go. That'll keep that alive for a little while longer. Did they come and get this yet? No, they're still gathering logs from there. That's fine. Now, are we looking over here? We got stairs in. That's good. That's progress. And then uh, this being built hopefully won't take too long. I mean, we have 10 days, so I'm not super worried about it. We have a decent bit of storage. Uh, not enough. We have about half as much water as we need to make it all the way through currently. I think these trees should all survive. They just won't grow anymore, which is unfortunate. I don't know that I really have the water to be continuously dumping in these areas right now. We'll see. I do think I need to get this uh, farmhouse built sooner rather than later. In fact, we probably should go ahead and research and build a builder's hut because, uh, yeah, we've got some building that needs to be done. And uh, none of these guys are uh, standing around or going to really contribute anything unless we, you know, make them. So go ahead and get that done. I'll go ahead and go triple speed. Try not to do too much of that now because it does uh, get away from me a little bit. But we really do need the farmhouse and the builder's hut done as fast as possible. Because as long as we have water here, which we most likely will for the entire rest of this uh, drought, we can grow crops here, and we really should have been doing that already. 
for a variety of reasons. But this, uh, these two buildings, fully staffed, would uh, eliminate our problem of beavers being unemployed, as well as one of these inventor huts. Go ahead and get somebody in here again as well. And they're going right to it. And just dump some more water out. Refresh those carrots over there. And then pause that again. Now these trees uh, probably are going to die in a couple days, so I am going to go ahead and dump a little bit in here. Just so it doesn't turn into a too big of a problem. Just kind of reset the timer on those guys. How are we doing over here? Okay, good. We're making good progress. Good progress. Oh, we actually didn't build the stairs. Okay, well, they're, uh, they're in the middle of something else then. That's, uh, that's fine. We still have plenty of time, especially if we get these builders. Yes. Okay, builders. Good. These guys. Good. Yeah, yeah, this is this is good progress. We are we're doing fantastic. Need to make sure this deep water pump is uh Well, I really hate to pump all this water out. Yeah, this is dry anyway. It's really it's just down to this guy where I have to start pumping out of our uh, farm storage, but hey, there's a little bit here. Should be another uh, day or two worth. Get all that going. Yeah. So, We'll be okay. Losing half of these carrots is not a not ideal, so I am gonna go ahead and get a little bit more water coming through here, just in spurts to make sure that we can hopefully harvest at least a little bit more of what we have going on here. Just one little quick spurt. It takes a day or two for the water to dry out, and that hopefully will let us get a couple more things of carrots. Meanwhile, this one is doing just fine. Should help us a little bit. We do have tons of berries still, which is good. Yeah, now the problem is going to be none of these trees can be replanted, so I'm going to have to do this again. Yeah, see, this is this is the fun part about having, a, having all these problems is you really kind of have to uh, just do a little bit of everything. Very much, uh, very much crisis management at this point. All right, so that's done. That's a very good sign. They're working on this one. Is this guy stranded? Seriously? You absolute idiot. I swear. I want to say young one, too. Now I gotta, I gotta save his idiot. Alright. This is the last time. No. This is the last time I cheese a warehouse to, uh, dudes out of here. It's because this idiot stuck himself in here. <sighs> come on, man. We all have stuff to do. Now we gotta come rescue your sorry self. Come on. Alright, you idiot. There you go. Okay, no, I'll tell you what we're not doing. Is we are not... Just... Mm, Alright. We're not doing this again. There. Problem solved. <laughs> no more no more getting stuck over here. They can come, uh, come collect this later. Alright, so... Uh, they really shouldn't be coming back down here anymore because this is all built. So what in the world? Oh, they're doing that? Okay, no, we need we need these stairs. Get these stairs done. Got 6.3 days. We're down to 163 water. Yeah, this this is what I was kind of afraid of here. And that's also again why I paused, because that is just uh not enough water. These guys to take two water per day, so that's already only three days of water left at once at 150. Yeah, let's um, let's finish this guy, shall we? Then just start pumping him. 
Because uh, it's not looking great for uh, everybody else here. How did I not already have that set to water? Let's take care of that. Good news, though, is looks like this is going to be done in time for drought to end. Yeah, I need I need this guy to be uh, doing a little bit more here. I just hate to spend all this water to hydrate trees. It just feels like such a waste. For right now, at least. Let this guy get back to work. Plant. Oh, there's nobody here? Oh, because it's... Jeez. There we go. I, I created my own self-fulfilling problem. <laughs> okay, I'm um, making gears, I guess, we still need. Although, I don't have storage for gears, so now it's just kind of... Uh, Kind of pointless. Uh, carrots, I guess we're never going to be here. But we can go ahead and put in... I believe it's going to have to be a pile. And this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be changed, I'm sure, when I get around to it. But we have to have somewhere to store all the... Gears seriously don't go in here? That is, that's the annoying thing. I can't ever remember what goes where. So I guess it has to go in the warehouse. That is... Uh, just a little irritating. Is this built yet? Okay. Yeah, get this guy in here to uh, get some water going. Because uh, five days, even if we drain this completely, it's not going to be long enough for any plants to die unless it happens before about two days left. So I'm not really worried about it. I'm just more worried about the beavers actually surviving. So probably not going to do any more any more tree saving. Oh, as soon as I say that, I mean, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. I can just cut them down anyway, so who cares? Most important thing right now is, aside from keeping beavers alive, getting this finished, and then optionally this. Yeah, we'll get that one done first. So we have the wood to do it. Contrary to popular belief, we're not in a wood crisis yet we will get in one probably pretty soon if we can't uh can't get everything else kind of resolved here but i'm not a uh, i'm not in panic mode quite yet once this lake dries up i might start to get into panic mode but we'll see probably be fine Well, having eight beavers to complete all this is definitely a uh, a big plus over having just four. Do I have four? Yes. Okay, probably don't need this guy to be going all over the place, but there's still some trees to be cut, so we'll just let him do his thing. Come over here with our little path, and I can start building all these guys. Because so we do just have these two levees left. That is now uh, pointless to be going over here. So now our hopes are left with this single pump for four and a half days of water supply for the entirety of all of the beavers. And yeah, so that's uh, that's fun. How much... Uh... Okay, we're, we're okay. Oh, I can see it going down, though, so that's not great. We're definitely going to be in a very uh, crisis-y type mode for, uh, before too long. Let's go ahead and build another builder's hut and get some more uh, some more building action going. I'm going to probably put this over here next to... Uh, yeah, let's do that. Then we can hire some extra beavers and get the rest of this stuff all finished up. One thing we definitely also need to uh, do a bit better job on is distributing food around because right now all the food's right here. And this is something we will be able to fix, but uh, realistically not super well until toward the end of this episode. So I think. I think we're doing fine on wood enough where I don't have to really stress out about this guy uh, not having to work anymore. 
But we do want to get the logs out. So we'll let them do that. We'll let them get into here. Did they finish this corner one? They sure did. Cool. So that's going to be mostly fixed. We do have water stored up. We just don't have a ton of it. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this just to make sure that we can extend a little bit a little bit more time. I don't think we're quite in crisis yet on our thirst, although some of them are getting a little thirsty. Good news is food is recovering slowly. Definitely should have done this a lot sooner. But it's never too late to start, unless all of your beavers are dead. So as long as this section can get completed, which it looks like it's just about done, should be all good to go. And then all we have to do is just have them piecemeal this thing together. But it looks like that's going to be fine too. Although I do wonder why they're not doing... There we go. All right, and then we just have the one left here. So 12 logs. We have plenty of logs. Uh, is this all taken up? Yeah, get rid of that. Because this is all going to be flooded pretty much permanently until we pump all the water out at least. Okay, now we have 65 water left, so I'm going to turn this back on. Yeah, we're going to be... Uh, we're going to be a little thirsty, but we're not going to get close enough for any beavers to die, which is good news for now at least. That being said, uh, in order to prevent that from happening, we are going to have to have some water uh, water pumping action happen over here. So I think we're probably going to be okay putting in a pump here. Flip that building again. I love this mod. Put that guy there. Put a path in here. And this will start pumping much sooner than the rest of these because the water is going to have to go high enough to come through here. And that's going to take probably a pretty decent amount of time. But getting this done... Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Actually, we'll put those two as the priority and then I'll put this as the slightly not as high priority. Can I, can I click on this? No. There we go. We just have the two days left. Doing fine. A little thirsty, a little dry, but we will survive. There we go. And that is all done. Now we just have... Oh, that's done too. Good. Good, good, good. Get this thing going. So it's ready to go as soon as the water comes back because, you know, it's uh, going to be a little rough. And we are... And we're probably actually okay to leave this running and have at most probably about a day without any water. That's not going to, well, it might kill some of the plants, but the uh, the real problem here is going to be we don't have any trees that are uh, planted or growing because I can't, uh, I can't water this without flooding the forester. So, you know, just uh, totally normal things. And I also can't get over here because I have these buildings put in a specific way. So I am going to go ahead and get rid of that guy. Please don't crash. Thank you. Put this path back in. And then actually... Uh, oh, I have so much science. Okay. Double platform. Go ahead and put this guy here. And then we'll just do one of those because then we can come over here. And get rid of this and put up some stairs to these trees. 0.7 days. Yeah, I think we are going to be just fine. Even though we only have one or two or three water. We are uh, we're going to be okay. Half a day. This is now uh, all dried out. But it doesn't matter because we managed to survive. I just don't think uh, these guys are going to be able to go... Uh, up here. So we are going to have to put in I think one more of these. We'll just uh, get rid of that guy. Put in a uh, lumberjack flag. Yep, that's going to cut all of those. Go ahead and mark this whole area for cutting. Then we'll probably end up planting up here again as well. But 
Good news is we did survive. These crops uh, here are probably going to die. All of those. Just because the water is absolutely not going to get over this way fast enough. It's just impossible. So that is, uh, that's unfortunate that that's going to be what ends up happening to that. But, you know, there's not really a... What do you mean this isn't accessible? Oh, I didn't have a path here. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah. So, no way to prevent this, unfortunately. But we do have a decent stockpile of stuff here. So we don't need to be too terribly upset about that. So now you can see the true beauty of this whole thing that I had planned out. Is that it's this is going to be a ton of water stored up. And then we can continuously pump from because this pump is at the lowest point of uh, this entire thing. And we'll have a couple more uh, over here as well when I get around to that. Except we're just now... Uh, we're now very thirsty beavers. So once this guy goes to work, he's going to be a very, very popular beaver indeed. These guys are going to come from far and wide to drink quite literally any water they can get their hands on. Yeah, so get pumping, my guy. Let's go, because I we're probably going to have it, maybe a couple beavers die of thirst. I really hope not. But that's just going to be the, uh, the way she goes here. Water will come through here eventually. Just got to get these guys uh, over there to drink something. And water should be spilling over any moment now. Here it comes here, so that's good news. Won't be too long before we get this guy up and running. All right, and now these are pumping as well, so we should be, hopefully, hopefully none of these die as a result of that, but, uh, oh, you know what I did not do? Okay, hold on. I did not put this levy back. Let's get that done immediately. Because <laughs> that's, that's going to be bad. This whole thing will flood. Yeah, look at these guys go. They're getting their, getting their drink on. Oh no, this, this is definitely going to flood. It's about to, it's about to overtop. We uh, haven't finished it yet. Come on, 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 come on. So let's go. How did how did you not finish this yet? Come on. Oh, jeez, idiots. You left it at 90. Seriously, you left it at 90%. You left it at 90% and did nothing. You absolute fools. Thank you. Yeah, let's, let's just flood everything now because apparently that's what we're supposed to do. All right. Seems like that is uh, mostly looking okay. Yeah, water is spilling out here, here. It's working exactly as designed. Now we have a ton of water. Looks like we're good to go. We're going to continue filling our reserves because the next one could be could be a 49-day drought, if I am remembering correctly. So we have currently six vacancies. I'm going to unpause all of these breeding pods, get our, uh, get our beavers back up to speed here. Our forester guy can be planting some more trees, which we will definitely be doing now. Okay, I've got a little bit more. Here we go. Uh, it's probably probably pines are going to be the the best option for right now, regardless. Just because we can get wood a little faster. That's more maples, and then up here. Probably uh, he can't reach, so I don't know if I want to waste a forester by putting everything up here, but we have all these berries, too, and our storage for berries is full, so I guess it really doesn't matter. This guy can't reach all the way up there. Eh, I'm not concerned about it. Uh, next thing we need to be doing, though, is we need to be building more, uh, more levees down here to extend our reach that way. So, let's go ahead and... Get those set out here. Go ahead and get rid of that guy because we're not going to need him again. Then 
then I think... Yeah, that's going to be fine right there. It's going to be interesting uh, building the dam here. I might actually want to... Uh, why does it go up and down so much? I guess we can slow down a little bit. Yeah, they're quick about building all this stuff, except now we're out of logs. So we're going to need to cut... Uh, let's see. Gather a flag. You can go away, and you can become a uh, lumberjack flag over here. I think that should be fine, like it is. Okay, lumberjack flag. We're going to go ahead and cut down all of the dead trees. There we go. And I'll put the gatherer flag back over here. Can this... Uh... Oh, I could just move this guy. Gathering... Uh, why are we saving dandelions? Um, I guess... I guess that's probably fine there, honestly. We'll just keep uh, these trees for uh, chestnut harvesting purposes. And then uh, cut the rest of them down. How far does this go? Okay, good. I got it exactly correct. Good. No workers in district. Why do we have so many? Uh... All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, deprioritize the rest of these builder huts because we aren't really in a super crunch yet. Okay. looks like we're all good. Slowly getting more and more water stored up, which is, of course, the ultimate goal here. I guess we can obtain goods from other warehouses for at least one of those. Oh, we don't have a hauling post, of course. I haven't even bothered to build one of those because we don't really have the uh, we don't really have the resources for it yet. So I was trying to figure out if I can put in another forester over here. Because I think, oh, I could put farming over here, because that's going to be within a range of this farmhouse. That might actually be a pretty smart idea. We'll see. Although I think right now the uh, chief problem is going to be getting wood. It looks like that is going to be kind of an issue. Do I have any orphaned, uh, what do you call them? Lumberjack flex, that's what those things are called. I don't know that I do. Alright, um, I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this. I did promise I was going to be fixing all of this. So I'll put in some proper uh, platforms. Now yeah, we've got a lot of space for... Uh, a lot of space for doing other stuff. I could probably actually put a tree farm up here. That would be pretty uh, pretty successful. So let's put a forester. Try to find a good spot that will be able to access a lot of space. Okay, this looks, uh, looks pretty good. We'll put that there. We'll start planting a whole bunch of pine trees. We'll do some maples. There we go. Do some chestnuts. And we'll do some birches as well, just to have some different uh, time of harvesting trees here. We really should have been doing this a lot sooner. A lot sooner. But there's uh, no reason we can't start now, right? All right, now that's going to be these three here. Is there already a... Oh, there's already a dead tree here. Okay, that's fine. Um, Where else do I want to... Uh, I guess I don't need to worry about that. I can just put in a uh, bunch of paths here and then get rid of them. Put in some more trees. Just have this whole area filled up with them. Alright, so I already have pines, I've got 
a bunch of pines. I got maples. I got these guys. I guess I could just do some more birch. Probably this, uh, most of this area here. I can actually do this entire thing. So we'll do that. No, I don't want to put one here. Get out of here. And before he starts planting, we'll go ahead and put in... Actually, is this going to let me... Uh... Wow, okay, that does the whole thing. So we'll just do two right there, and that should be... We didn't have anybody die of thirst? Cool. All right, well, that's a pretty successful uh, endeavor, if I say so myself. Good to see that. Absolutely love to see that. Okay, now we are on day seven, which is uh, about the time where I would start panicking about the drought coming in and seeing uh, just how bad it's going to be. So I think now... Well, we're getting food, so that's uh, that's something nice at least. I did say I wanted to mess with the, uh, the floodgates. So I think that's probably probably best for uh, some place like down here, maybe. I might actually want to put one in the, uh, the middle here, but then you can't walk across it. I don't know. I was going to need these at some point eventually anyway. So actually, if I were to do five of these, I could build them with the height set to zero and then just have them go up. So we'll see what else. Uh, I guess I should probably... Okay, no, this needs to be a lower priority job. Yeah, get this, uh, get this forester built. And then, hopefully, we don't have to worry about uh, anything else. Another thing that I, I don't think I've mentioned is if this ever gets low, I can just delete one of these blocks and have all of the second level water come through here. And then... Uh, That'll replenish our supply just a little bit. We're just kind of in a uh, an interesting position right now with regard to future-proofing, in that we are not future-proof, but we have everything we need to be future-proof. We just haven't uh, haven't really done a fantastic job of resource management, but that's why we're doing it, right? You can't improve if you don't try. That being said, how far? I think, because we're going to have to start um, cutting this off at some point. I think we're going to be okay if I just go ahead and do that. Maybe. I need to get this forester built. Okay, now we have some We have some wood now. We're good. All right, um, let's supercharge our uh, builders real quick. Because uh, we have... Three and a half days, excuse me, three and a half days left uh, at most, or at least, because, of course, the drought warning comes with three days left. There we go. All right, that guy can, I guess, just start doing his thing. These guys doing their thing, start building all these levees. So it does not look like these floodgates are going to get done unless we have just a ton of wood come up for harvest. Oh, why am I not cutting these three? That's kind of embarrassing to not have that all uh, taken care of. Okay, now that is taken care of. That should be all good to go. Yeah, we're just uh, we're just lacking in the wood department. But that is very quickly becoming not an issue. Okay, do I want to Do I want to go ahead and shut this off so they can start building these things? It seems like they're uh seems like they're going kind of well. We just have to have planks which seem to be kind of a kind of a problem here. All right, now I would expect the maximum length for a wet season is 14 days, so we're probably going to get one tomorrow. If not, we definitely would get one the next day. I'm just 
fully expecting that. We do have 762 water stored up, which is nice, but it's not going to be enough for, uh, for 36 beavers. 35, one just died of old age. 34, one just also died of old age. Okay, so tomorrow, definitely, is we're getting the, uh, the drought warning. So we will get the full 14 days, which is very nice for water collecting. It's good to, uh, good to see that for sure. I am going to go ahead and cut our path here and go ahead and put in a levee there and a levee there. And then we can go ahead and make sure we can actually still access all this. Mmm, it seems we cannot, so... Uh, before I make a terrible mistake, I'm going to have to uh, undo this and create a secondary uh, access over here by getting rid of, I guess, all of these. Yeah. Yeah, we're about to get that drought warning. So I really, really want to make sure we have this almost ready to go. Because yeah, they're, they've had a good time on this. We just got to get more planks. I'm going to go ahead and pause the uh, gear workshop because we have 40 of those. Which also means I can pause this guy. All right. Let's fly in through here. Okay. Uh, let's just take a moment to think here. I do need to put stairs right there, so we'll do that to get uh, access back to this area. And now that this is here, I can actually demolish that levee, and I can put a set of stairs there. And then I can uh, harvest this potato. And then not a... Uh, Oh, can he really not reach that one thing? That's annoying. Mmm, the planks. Planks are definitely a problem. This is all the fun that happens when you're right up against a deadline. You know, we actually still haven't gotten the drought ring, so I guess that's the morning of day 12. So if you have, yeah, 12, 13, 14 would be three full days. Okay, I can live with that. That's fine. Alright, just uh, build these stairs and then let me uh, let me block this whole thing off. Just mark that like so. Just have them be able to go across here. We just have nine planks left over here. Okay, we have the stairs. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way. Click the correct thing again. Okay, I didn't need to delete that one. You can go back. All right, uh, levy here. This guy already has all his logs, so we will uh, super prioritize the levy along with the floodgates, stop building everything else, bring those in, and then we can delete all this, and this will fill up, and we'll be that much closer to having, well, an actual chance at survival. There's our drought warning. So this should, yeah, we still have full range of motion here, which is excellent. Six more planks. We'll have no problem getting that by the end of day uh, 14. That's in place. That's in place. So as soon as this is done, we are definitely, definitely going to be good to go. We'll have two separate sections here. All right, that's all done. Set that to 1.5. Hopefully it doesn't flood everything. And there we go. We have that much more storage ready to go. And of course, we're going to continue to expand that down here as uh, time and space permits, which actually, if we have three days, how far down here can I go? Uh, oh, okay. Not very far. 
Um, I think. Okay, if I were to... I guess I don't have to have this district center so far this way anymore. So... <laughs> Oh, I, uh, I know this is I know this is cheesing it so hard, but you know it. Uh, what's the uh, what's this what's the Todd Howard saying? It just works. Well, it just works. We'll, we'll put this here. Not Beaver Byerg, Beaver Berg Seven. Remember, I can count correctly. Definitely, I've never had any uh, any problems counting. Okay. So that's taken care of, which means now we can come over here and put in, uh, where is, so I really should, well, I, I can always cover it up later. I really should come all the way down here and put this at the absolute furthest place it can go. Now, is that in range? Oh, beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Perfect. Flawless victory. Love to see it, because if we can get this dammed up and have this water also saved up, that is going to uh, help us to grow stuff a little bit longer. And also have more stuff over here, because we have to get these uh, these farmers doing something else. Okay, um, but in the meantime, though, we can go ahead and plant some more crops for sure. How far is that going to go? We got uh, two more rows of that. All right, that is excellent. We got some more trees to cut down before we do really anything else here. Our potatoes are looking good. We don't have any potatoes here for some reason. Okay, one and a half days. Something tells me I'm not going to get a. I'm not going to get all of these damn pieces built by the end of that. We'll find out, I guess. Alright. These guys are kind of all in the same boat, huh? Well, that's too bad. Probably should build more, but I don't really have the stability to do that. We do have... Are we... Uh, we're almost full on water, which is, uh, I guess, a good problem to have. So we'll go ahead and build another water tank. I'll take it off at three times speed, just so I don't get too far ahead of myself. We need to do one of these large tanks. Oh, I forgot this industrial water tank was in here. That's a uh, that's one of those uh, mod things I hadn't really uh, hadn't really done anything with. Let's put a water tank here, and then we'll put another one somewhere else, maybe here because that's not arable land. Do we have enough gears for all this? How many gears is one of these? Twenty. Okay, I have exactly enough gears for that. That's good. So once our population gets a little bit higher, this will be a next episode thing. I want to do a hauling post to try and get uh, all the rest of this taken care of. And it would have, it would have been so nice if we could have had this too, but I know it's a... Uh, they're taking a straight diagonal line. I didn't know they'd do that. I thought they always had to follow a path. Okay, so seeing this, actually, what if we just prioritized... All the builders and just marathoned to try and get this done. Why not, right? 24 hour working hours, you'll be okay. We'll put it back, I promise. As long as I don't forget. So if we have 12 beavers, oh, we have 12 beavers <laughs> doing all this, then I think we'll be okay. Maybe. Point four days. All right, let's go, Bucko. You can each only carry two logs at a time. I guess that's a setting I could modify with one of my mods, but I don't really feel uh, I feel like messing with the core game mechanics too much. Honestly, even messing with the district uh, path distance felt a little bit too cheesy, but it's uh, definitely making the game a lot more playable especially on this map, so I think we're going to be just fine. All right, so uh, no chance now, 0.2 days left that we're going to have this entire thing done, but if we're fast enough, we might still trap a little bit of water here. 
which in the long scheme of things really isn't going to be super useful. But in the future scheme of things will definitely be useful. Now that we have enough logs, finally, getting all this. This guy is still planting incredibly slowly. Oh, there's nobody working there because I had everybody come build this dam. All right, 28 days, not, not terrible. Could definitely be worse. I am going to go ahead and put the builder's huts back down to regular importance. Get this guy back in here. And uh, yeah, I think we'll be, uh, I think we'll be good. Could uh, definitely, definitely be a lot worse. I'm very, very glad we got this all taken care of. Now we have that much more water. I'm going to go ahead and pause that guy. In fact, why do these all reset? I'm going to pause all of these that are pumping out of the lower basin. Because we have a thousand water saved up. So instead what we'll do is we're going to come over here. get rid of these uh, dead dandelions. We're going to come over here and we're going to build, now that we have logs and stuff for it. I guess I could just do a... Uh... Mmm. I didn't think about uh, that. I might I might have to just kind of do... No, I guess, I guess that was fine. That's alright. We'll just put a path in. That'll work a-okay. Yeah, we'll just get these four guys pumping. Pump out of this. Can I not do this? Okay, there we go. I think that, yeah, that's well within range. And they will pump out of there instead of this area. So this can just naturally evaporate. Well, it's still going to be gone by the time the drought's over, but... You know, it's not a, not as big of a crisis, is it? I think we're going to be all good to go, but I don't want to get too far into this drought because this is a good natural stopping point for this episode. I think we've made a lot of huge improvements this episode. So thank you for sticking with me with some of the, I guess, less than ideal play of the past couple of episodes because I think we are now in a pretty good spot. and we're, we're not fully prepared for 49 day droughts. But we do have food coming back. We've got lots of water storage. Again, still not enough, but we're working on it. We have all of this dammed up. And uh, I think we're going to be just fine. Of course, we're going to work to continue storing up as much water as physically possible. Pretty much for the entire rest of the playthrough. But I like our chances now. We've got a ton more farming done. We've got a timber farming well, it's it's on its way. It's it's going to take a while to get where it needs to go. But all things considered, we could definitely be in a much worse position. And I think we could be pretty happy with the way things are going now. Go ahead and just pre-program all of these to be unpaused when drought ends. So I can just manually pause them at any point in time if I so need to. And then, yeah, I think, uh, I think we'll be good. We are almost full on water again. I guess I can turn that back to just regular. Let's make sure before this gets built and I embarrass myself to uh, set those for water. Waiting on planks again. We had just enough gears to do that. We're not going to turn the gears back on until we have all of these done. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. We are going to leave the breeding pods on because we have the resources to take care of them now. And I think now, quick math, we have 1,100 water. Uh, let's see, 32 beavers times 2 is 64. So we have enough water for 15 days. 15 days of making sure beavers aren't uh, going to starve to death and thirst to death. Food-wise, we're not quite there yet. But the good news is the food's going to keep growing. Because we're not going to run out of too high water that's not being pumped in 27 days. It's just not going to happen. It'll be down... Pretty low, but it won't be out 
And yeah, I think we're I think we're doing fine. I can actually put in a couple more uh, rows of food here. I guess we should probably do potatoes. Probably would be a smart thing to do. Yeah, just put in a couple more rows of potatoes. It doesn't matter if this is uh, not super pretty looking, does it? No, I think we're fine. Though I'm going to put one more here. Yeah, this is um, this is decidedly ugly, but you know what? No big deal. It's functional. And we're going to be in really good shape. So yeah, that is going to be it for today's episode. Very, very glad we're able to solve a whole lot of problems here. So uh, yeah, good stuff. As always, I read every single comment. I respond when I can, but I can't always get to each uh, each one. But I do read them, so if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or just want to say hi, want to roast me for bad decisions, hopefully this episode gave you less uh, less of an opportunity to roast me for stuff. But uh, any anything you have comments on the stuff or uh, just anything you want to say, I am always receptive. really appreciate you guys being a fantastic community of viewers here. It's it's really, really fun just to get to interact with you guys, so I welcome that, and I hope that whatever you're doing today, you have a safe and fantastic one, and we will see you back on Tuesday for another episode. Until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.